Breaking news, after the acquisition of Al Nasser, Cristiano Ronaldo believes the Saudi Pro League has the potential to become the fourth most challenging league in the globe. After relocating to the Middle East, Cristiano Ronaldo has made a bold prognostication about the region. To illustrate this point, let's consider the assertion that the Saudi Pro League will soon become the fourth most competitive league in the world. Following his departure from Manchester United at the beginning of the year, Ronaldo, who is now 38 years old, surprised everyone by signing with Al Nasser. The legendary player from Portugal was unable to garner attention from any of the other prominent teams in Europe. After scoring nine goals in his first eight league matches, he is now seeking to elevate the reputation of football in Saudi Arabia. This comes after he scored those nine goals. A number of well-known players, such as Luis Gustavo and Odian Igolo, currently make their living in the country. While it is being reported that Lionel Messi is going to be offered a contract worth £194 million a year to move to Riyadh as well, most likely with Al Hilal, which is Al Nasser's major competitor. In addition, Ronaldo believes that the Saudi Premier League has the potential to eventually become one of the finest championships in the globe. He stated, I believe that you should look at the SPL in a different manner. It would be dishonest of me to claim that the competition is a premier competition, so I won't do that. However, I am pleasantly delighted to find that the division is extremely competitive, with excellent clubs and a very even level of competition. Within the next few years, I have no doubt that this league will climb to the fourth, fifth, or sixth spot on the list of the most competitive leagues in the world. In the meantime, Ronaldo is on track to become the player with the most appearances for his national team in the history of the sport. If he plays tonight against Liechtenstein, he will earn his 197th match for Portugal, which would put him ahead of Bader Almudawa of Kuwait in the all-time list. Ronaldo is already the all-time leader in international goal scoring with 118, and he freely confesses that he has always had the ambition to surpass the record for most matches played. Ronnie continued by saying, I enjoy shattering records. I have shattered a significant number of benchmarks. In addition to being the player who has scored the most goals for national teams in history, one of my goals was to become the international player who has played in the most games. His closing months with the club were marred by controversy as he struggled to establish himself as a standout player under Eric Ten Hag's management. Before his performance on Piers Morgan's Talk TV program, Ronaldo was so adamant about not playing against Tottenham that he wouldn't even come on as a replacement. As a result of the criticism that he leveled in that regard toward the Dutch manager as well as the Glazer management of the club, his contract was voluntarily terminated. Since then, he has signed an astronomical £173 million a year contract to play for the Saudi Arabian side Al Nasser. Ronaldo appears to have regained his scoring touch, as he has scored nine goals through his first eight matches in the Saudi Pro League. And more recently, he has asserted that he has gotten past the difficulties he experienced with United. Ronaldo made these comments about his problems with the Red Devils during a press conference held by Portugal prior to their international matches. He said, Sometimes, you have to go through some things to see who is on my side. 